in terms of career prospect, historically, what we have observed is that many people who come to the program, usually they come from the financial services industry, so commercial banks, um, uh, development finance institution. What we observe is that as the students are studying on the program and the moment their employers are aware that they are doing the masters in development finance, they are promoted to a higher level. So that is often one of the challenges we face because they progress easily. But when they finish the program, they either move upward in terms of uh, having higher position within the organization or they move to other organization, other commercial bank or development financial institutions. And we also notice that many at times they move from national development finance institution to international development finance institutions such as the African Development Bank, the World Bank sometimes, IFC, International Financial Corporation, they move in that direction. And many at times, they also are pushed by commercial banks because quite often, the commercial banks are not fully well uh, trained when it comes to the development finance space. So many of them are employed and promoted to head department like SMME department, infrastructure department, within um, a commercial bank. So there is that prospect of career. We have also seen many leaving the former employment becoming consultant. And that is one of the exciting aspects of the program. When students go through the program, they discover a space of consulting that has not been done. And they resign from their former employment and they go into uh, consulting. In terms of admission, so if you are thinking about the program, what are the requirements for admission? We require a, an honors degree, if you are coming from a South African uh, setup, or a bachelor's uh, degree, honors degree from any African um, uh, countries. And um, we typically, many those who have a master's degree also do the program, so if you have a master's degree, you are welcome to apply. In fact, at a point in time, we, from different, a different point in time, we have people with more than one master's degree. So sometimes two master's degree, they uh, uh, apply for the program, but we admit them. So, but the, ba the basic requirement is a bachelor's degree, honors degree, the, the four years honors degree. So if you come from South African environment, you have the three years plus one postgraduate, uh, postgraduate degree, which is an uh, uh, honors degree, or a postgraduate diploma, such as a postgraduate diploma in development finance and any other relevant postgraduate diplomas. But usually in the field of finance, economics, and uh, project management, and related field, we, 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 we evaluate them and we, we, we consider uh, such uh, qualifications as uh, entry level. We also take some individuals who may not have the bachelor's or the honors degree. Uh, we call such one, we look at them as a recognition of power learning. We look at what they have acquired prior to this period and then we evaluate them. If we feel in our judgment that this qualification is up to the level of honors degree, the knowledge, the experience they've had in the industry is sufficient, we can also admit them. Usually we don't, we take about 10% of that recognition of prior learning on the, the program. When you complete the program, what can you do after that? So in addition to working, if you want to proceed uh, for your st further studies, we have the PhD in Development Finance, which is again the first of its kind on the African continent. For more detailed information about the program, I would encourage you to visit our website www.usb.ac ZA, you will find a more detailed, comprehensive information on the program there.